Hello and welcome you live into this short video tutorial on deontology. Now uh, you have this in front of you. It is uh, four quick questions. As I go through this video, you'll just be able to complete uh, the sentence starters uh, based on our investigation of deontology. And on the reverse side of your paper, uh, what I'm looking from you is to create questions. So we're looking for two questions that you have about deontology. So it could be, um, I don't quite understand this, or it could be um, an example of this is. So you might want to produce an example of what you think a deontologist would do in a certain situation. And then what we're going to do is we need to find two other people who are going to try and answer your questions. And then we'll come back as a class and answer them together. But to start with, we've got two goals for today's session. The first is to identify features of deontology, and the second is to recognise how deontologists make decisions. So to start with, deontology is concerned with what people do, not the consequences. So deontologists focus on the action, not on the consequences of an action. So they would say always to do the right thing. They would say do it because it's the right thing to do. They would say never do wrong things. And finally, they would say avoid certain things because they're just wrong. Now, the word deontology uh, comes from the Greek, uh, deon, which refers to duty. So deontology teaches us that things are right or wrong because of the sorts of things that they are. So it's all based on before we even make a decision or an action, is it right before we do anything at all? If it's wrong, we won't do it. If it's right, we will do it. So there are certain rules that deontologists live by, and here are some. The first would be never to kill innocent people, that it's wrong to steal, that it's wrong to tell lies, and if we make a promise to someone, that we've got to keep it. Finally, let's look at the differences between deontology and consequentialism. So deontology is all about people have a duty to do the right thing. So we've always got to do the right thing, even if it produces a negative result. So let's look at the difference between deontology and consequentialism. So consequentialists always focus on whether an action is right based on the consequences of their action. So if I lie to someone to make them feel good and they feel good, a consequentialist would say that is, that's awesome, I've done the right thing. Now in reverse, a deontologist uh, focuses on the act itself. So as a deontologist, the fact that I'm lying to my friend to make them feel good is wrong because I shouldn't lie. So I won't lie to them, I'll tell them the truth and just tell them that they need to change. So let's review our learning goals. Can we identify the features of deontology? And can we recognise how deontologists make decisions?